say goodbye to Morgan mm -hmm. one last time. Get him a home to the ground. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say, Mr. Ness, in the last words? Mr. Ness. Mm -hmm. Sad, 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 sad loss. We, we can still see each other when I'm watching the girls. It'll be different. We won't be alone. Why'd you agree to watch them in the first place? We already talked about this. The family's been through so much since Morgan. I understand that, but what does that have to do with us? She was our friend. That's what it has to do with us. We can't thank you enough for watching, Allison. No problem. I'm glad I could help. Not that I need a babysitter. Yeah. Yeah. You girls be good. Where are you girls going? To fight against the encroaching darkness. What the hell? Uh, guys, Morgan just logged on. Um, how? It's okay, guys. There's got to be a logical explanation for this. Once a soul is crossed over, they become emotional sponges. They absorb the emotions of the person near them. If a person feels fear, the lost soul will become aggressive. Do you see a ghost too? Well, I don't see any signs of breaking. Do you think the girl's gonna be alright? Do any of us really believe that Morgan, annoying but happy go lucky Morgan, would actually kill herself? Please, somebody or something made her do it. Then who made her do it? Either Morgan's ghost is haunting us. Or the ghost that possessor is not targeting us. Either way, we're not alone. We're not alone.